these are experiences that you just wouldn't normally get in life. So yeah, really, really grateful to ISPS for the stuff that they do for all the disabled golfers. They're incredible how they do it. I was just watching a guy over there with, he's got no hands and he's hitting it through the range off a 10.8 handicap, it's just extraordinary. Incredible human being. It's not just the work they do to, to make it people globally aware that disabled golf's out there. When I was young, I didn't know there was a disabled sport, never mind golf, but it's empowering. They're, they're an inspiration, complete and utter inspiration. And I'm really proud to, to, to play a game, can do this thing for everybody, you know? We stand in front of people with guns trying to shoot at you. That's what you call stress. I said, this is all about hitting a little white ball down to a flag and getting it in the hole. There's no stress in that. Over the past 20 years, ISPS Hander has collaborated with almost every major golf tour around the world to develop significant relationships and partnerships that can help promote blind and disabled golf. They hold clinics and seminars to raise awareness and encourage participation at every one of their events, including the recent PGA Seniors Championship. I got to know about the invitation last week and immediately jumped on the chance to, to be involved in this event today because I know exactly how powerful sport can be in changing and affecting people's lives. We really need to be trying to inspire those younger uh, groups that do have disabilities to kind of, when they get older, to see golf as possibly an opportunity or a sport for them. You know, you see the smiles on the faces of the, of the, you know, the children today and the young adults. You know, golf brought that smile. The tournament's defending champion Santiago Luna, prolific senior tour winner Carl Mason and former Ryder Cup star Mark James took part in a three-hole challenge alongside injured ex-servicemen. It means a lot to these guys to get out and playing sport again and um, you know, golf is um, you know, one sport you, you can get back to and some of their disabilities is quite incredible and um, you know, all, all those disabled people who get into golf again, uh, I mean, they have my undying admiration, that's for sure. My interpreter during a 10-day operation that we was involved in, he stepped out of a safe lane and initiated a device in the ground and I was next to him and it killed him and, uh, you know, obviously took my arm and uh, damaged my internal organs and my entire left side. But the fact that after injury there's, there's organisations out there as big as ISPS that are prepared to, you know, take out some time and, and allow us to enjoy nine holes and then three holes with the professionals. I mean, that's absolutely brilliant. But it's not just players at the start of their golfing journeys that ISPS Hander aims to help. Disabled golf is growing at an elite level with genuine aspirations of one day seeing the sport at the Paralympics. I'd love to see it get in, golf get into the Paralympics and I know that's the dream of Dr Hander as well. So. Anything we can do to showcase it and, and you know, get everyone to embrace it and see that it's not necessarily a, a cutesy thing. This is, these are genuine golfers, but to actually put on a, a GB vest or a GB T-shirt and represent it, all I, all I, I know it sounds a silly thing, I'd just love to have my son as a caddy. I'd be, happy, I'd be the happiest man. I'd be happy to go then. The tournament itself at Close House in the north of England was tight until the final few holes when Gordon Manson's challenge stalled leaving Peter Fowler needing just a three on the last. After mopping up for his par, the Australian collected the PGA Seniors Championship trophy, his second senior tour title in a row, to move into second on the order of merit. Another success for Fowler and for Dr Hander and his team.